Sagittarius, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It is an energy reading, so you take it where and how it resonates with you. This comes to you when you call it in, so it's timeless. It's no, There's no specific time frame, though when you see this video, you can expect that this will impact your week ahead. Um, it's your message, so you take it where and how it resonates in your life. If you're looking for personal readings, I do do those. You can schedule and book everything on my website only, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. And of course, you get completely different cards from everybody else. Let me show you how it popped out. To this just begins, this is the baseline reading. So a rebirth is assured. So this is major metamorphic transformation. The bat represents coming into the light, being able to carry the darkness, but come into the light. A rebirth, this could be a second chance. Um, but let's look at what it's also come upright with. Be here now. This is really interesting because it's in reverse, but it's coming a little bit in the future. So there's almost a sense of what hasn't even happened yet might change because of the changes that you're currently going through now, or you're trying to rush things. There's something here that you want to make a change with because it's almost like you feel like you have to make the change now or the change will never happen. A rebirth is assured. Fate is on your side here when it comes to this card because it means that, generally speaking, you are coming up. You are rising out of the ashes, right? Something that seemed pretty like it was going to flatten you is not going to do that. Um, be here now at the same time. For some reason, you're not really looking as forward to the future as you wanted, as you as you used to, or you want to rush things and you want to make a change right now. You wish the change would hurry itself up. There is that. This is interesting. We've got to uncover the other cards first. Wait, spirit has a plan. <sighs> faith is necessary when you see this card, a connection to God and your faith and a sense of watching and waiting and patience. And also a sense of knowing, knowing that this isn't, nothing is happening for just randomly. This is, this is happening for a reason. And it is, that is confirmed. And then we have bring a gentle touch. So this is about caring and nurturing kindness. It's also, a, it's almost a sense of going through, going through shit to be taught how to be kinder and gentler and grow compassion and, and know how and know that everybody deserves it. There is that sense of a usefulness or innocence. Maybe you're working with people who are young or you're, you feel young again yourself. There is that sense of a renewal, almost like a fresh start because we have a rebirth is assured. So starting from scratch and starting new, being patient with others and allowing them to be patient with you, but most importantly, being patient with yourself because this is something new for you. This is a second chance. This is a growing experience and you're not supposed to stay the same. So there's going to be a learning curve. We actually have be at home, but it's, it's kind of, okay, what does this mean? It means that you're not at home yet. You're not in your comfort zone yet. Maybe you haven't found where you want to live or you're really not sure, you know, where you're going to be settling down or you're not, you feel like you're not comfortable in the skin that you're in because you're supposed to be molting. This is a period of change. This is a period of resurrecting, but you're not resurrecting. You don't, you don't, you don't come when you, when you metamorphosize, you don't come back as the same thing. It's like the caterpillar dies in the cocoon and its pieces reform into the butterfly. It will never be the caterpillar again. I don't think it, it, it yeah, it will never be in terms of humans. We don't forget our, our lessons, but we change because of them. And so we, we, can't, we can't go back to what we were. So this is a goodbye forever to the old way, right? 
And it says right now you're in a transition. You don't really feel comfortable where you are or where you were. Now, that may not mean you don't end up with a comfort there, but it means right now you're feeling this discomfort. You don't feel at home. Well, guess why? Because you're in a cocoon. Cocoons aren't comfortable places. You are changing. It is going to be challenging, but it's also going to be broadening and expansive. We have be here now in reverse. I gotta dig in to what the heck that means. What does that mean? Be here now in reverse or don't. Okay, thank you, God. I just heard it. Takes me a while, guys. Stop looking too far into the future. Stop being in the future and that's hard because you're a fire sign fire signs are always thinking about the future but ultimately it's saying you have to be where you are right now stop trying to rush through it the only way out is through because it will change you and it's supposed to seven of pentacles this is a hopeless situation or things will not work out if you try to rush through them if you if you try to get to the future too quickly they it's it's a worthless game it's wasting your time that's what the seven of pentacles showed up for rushing things or constantly trying to change things instead of stick to things and let them change you that's that's what it is it's like stick to things and let them change you there is uh, yeah okay so we're gonna get more we just started out let's get we got to get moon cards i always choose moon cards but there is a new moon on september 14th so that's like just two days away if you're watching this when i upload it yeah there's a hidden ending there's a hidden finish or there's emotions that you've buried um it's almost like it's over it's kind of like it's over before it began we have this the moon card so what is this deception there's an ending here i feel like there's an ending that you haven't wanted to accept there's a lot of love here so there's something here that you love a great deal and you want to keep feeding but it's ended and you haven't accepted it i don't know what it is but there is an ending now it doesn't mean it's a death it just means or it means that you are all already foreseeing a failure or a downfall and it's almost like you don't even want to start because you've already predicted it's not going to work out you're already rushing this to failure which doesn't make any sense what you need to do is take care and love and put your whole self into this situation hold on hold on let's get a moon card I love it. this is the moonology deck it's my favorite deck <sighs> how can you tell someone's a cancerian without them saying they're a cancerian this is my favorite deck um conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so there's major changes and shifts here and we're going into eclipse season we get there in October. We're going in. That you know what that means? It's I gotta say this. It's weird. It's almost like you're afraid that you're running out of feelings for something because you know it marks an ending that you want to avoid because for some reason you haven't accepted it. Maybe you don't want things to end or you're scared that if something ends, there's nothing on the other side of it. When in reality, an ending is really just a new beginning. And so things may be changing. It's saying things are changing and this has to end. And the more you avoid it, the more you'll stagnate your entire life. Let the feelings end or let the feelings change so that they can become or develop into the next stage because out here in the future nothing is yet set in stone nothing has been dictated or it's not for certain we not foreseeing it 
all we know is rushing into it or already deciding you know what's going to happen is going to mess you up. It is going to take away your opportunities. But the truth is this. Things aren't as stagnant or as determined as you think, which means you can still have an influence on the way things turn out. Okay, so what steps do we take now? And maybe that's why you're rushing to an ending, because you don't like that you can't see the future or that you don't know how things are going to go and you want to you're trying to take control of the situation is that a good idea four of wands it's almost like you're trying to avoid disaster by predicting it and cutting something short we have the completion Okay, hold on. We have, hold on. We have four of wands. This is discovering some place where you really belong or some sort of relationship or connection to another that you felt that you're completely whole in. And then we have a new. So it's almost like something new wants to happen. A new connection or a new place of belonging wants to form. There is potentially for some of you, a new passion. And then we have Princess of Cups so that can signify a new offer of love or a new offer that's come to you. This would be somewhere around the new moon. Prince of Pentacles means it could be a new job, a new contract, new work, something that is slow and steady over time. <clears throat> I think what this means is that you will slowly grow connected and create connections in this new situation if you give it a chance and put your all in and allow yourself to take one step at a time but let's see if i'm freaking right oh there's always an extended guys please join me for it the links are down below and in the description box uh and in the uh, um what is it comments yeah i gotta get sagittarius something interesting right king of wands there you are asserting your own identity asserting your own sense of independence and nine of wands that's what it is you're trying to defend your right to be you or how you identify as yourself this also you're trying to defend your creative freedom and your ability to do what you want maybe when you want to do it but this is a really committed energy you know what this tells me, Sagittarius? You know what the fuck you're doing. And honestly, whatever is around you actually needs you for protection, for defense, or simply because of your experience. You are needed because you're really good and you've won a lot of battles. And that may make you a little extra pugilistic and not want to let stuff slip through. It could be that your experience has taught you to be wary, but it also means realize that you've become wary and realize that it might be time to loosen up those boundaries and maybe see this newness in a different way. But you're really great at what you do. You don't have to keep defending that. Okay. Hold on. Uh, oh, 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 hold on. Didn't even pull this deck out that much. Sagittarian. Where are we headed? What's the end game here? Shut up. Look, look, look what I just popped out. Oh, sorry, guys. Look, you see? You see that? I said, you, you heard me. I said, where do we end up? That's the sun card. Now that's in the future. But oh my God, does that mean success and happiness and confidence? So where does it end up? After all this tumultuousness and craziness, if you stick it out, you end up not only successful, but feeling really good about who you are. 
and realizing how, because right now, I don't think you realize your competence. The cards say, yeah, Sagittarius knows, yes, but, oh, no, 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 the cards say, you may not know. Everybody else knows, but you may not know. So what do they do now? Ah, oh, why are you fighting this? Because there's definitely a breakthrough when it comes to connecting with somebody else. That seems what it is. It's almost like you're trying to deny that something is there that you really want there, but you don't want to want there. And if I was saying that to anybody else but Sagittarius, I think I'd have to repeat myself. But I don't. Because I know you heard me and I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. There is that sense of, I want this. This is sexy. This is appealing. I really do want this to work, but I don't want it to want to work, but it's going to work. This is something new and something intense that has arisen. I don't know if it's at work. I don't know where it's at, but honestly, I don't think it matters. There's a connection here, especially maybe to another somebody that really, really turns you on and realizing it maybe throwing you off a lot or realizing that there's an impediment to being turned on and having to address it. But either way, if you do address it, there's a major growth and breakthrough here. Let's go to the extended. I'll see you guys there.